If you own a digital camera or camcorder made by Canon, such as the uh, HFS100 or the XA10, you may have been curious about the digital teleconverter feature. Now the explanation that the manual for the Canon HFS100 gives for the digital teleconverter is that when recording video, you can enlarge the center of the screen to achieve digitally the same effect of using a teleconverter lens without affecting the video quality at all. Now, if you were to go online and look in forums and, and look at, at, at people's explanation of this, oftentimes you'll find people say to avoid it like the plague. They describe it as being a gussied up version of a digital zoom. And after doing some, some digging around and looking at the specifications of my camera, that, that's, that's not exactly the case. For, for these Canon digital cameras, you can purchase a teleconverter, and it is additional glass that screws onto the front of the camera. The HFS100 and the XA10, along with the G-series cameras and, and other HFS cameras, use a 58 millimeter thread. So you have to wonder exactly how an internal mechanism in these cameras could accomplish the same thing as a teleconversion lens. And the answer is simple with the HFS100. Now, the HFS series cameras have five megapixel sensors in them. HD digital video is recorded at 1920 by 1080 resolution. That's a total of 2.07 megapixels. So basically, you have a sensor with more pixels than the camera records. So for these cameras, you're simply cropping what's recorded off of the sensor and still recording at full 1920 by 1080 resolution. It's a little bit trickier with the Canon XA10, and I'm not sure exactly how it works, but when you turn the digital teleconverter on, there's a noticeable loss of quality that's not as bad when you use the digital teleconverter on the HFS100. Looking into this a little bit more, the XA10, even though it's considered a professional camcorder, has a 2.07 megapixel chip. So there are less pixels on the sensor in your Canon XA10 than in the HFS series cameras. And that's fine for regular use. That's all the pixels that you need. And Frankly, the XA10 puts out beautiful video. However, when you do a digital teleconverter, when you crop the area you're recording from the sensor on a sensor that's only 2.07 megapixels, you can't possibly maintain your 1920 by 1080 resolution without some sort of digital manipulation of the file, which is, I believe, what happens within the Canon XA10. So what I'm going to do is take a look at a couple of examples using both cameras with and without the digital teleconverter function on, and we'll compare. Now, just so you're aware of the difference, I'm going to do a quick example of digital zoom, and I'm going to do that with a Kodak ZI-10 camcorder, which is not going to be the same image quality as a Canon XA-10 or HFS-100, but you'll get an idea of the steady degradation of the video quality as you go through a digital zoom range. Now, as you can see, as you progress through the zoom range in a digital zoom, you lose image quality. There's not as many pixels, you end up with a more digitized, often pretty bad looking video. Now let's take a look at the Canon HFS100 with and without the digital teleconverter. Currently, the digital teleconverter is not activated, and it's at its full zoom range without the digital teleconverter. Now we're going to go ahead and turn the digital teleconverter on. As you can see, it is zoomed in more, in this case 1.7 times as much, without a noticeable loss of quality. Here, the digital teleconverter on the XA10 is off. 
When we turn the digital teleconverter function on, as you can see, it is zoomed in twice as much as before. However, there is a noticeable loss in image quality. Now, when you compare the use of a digital teleconverter on the XA10 to the use of an actual teleconversion lens, you'll notice you don't get the digitization that you get with the digital teleconverter. However, there are some drawbacks to using a teleconversion lens. One, you run into the possibility of chromatic aberration. Two, when you're not all the way zoomed in, you'll end up with vignetting. Just to summarize, in the case of a camera with a higher megapixel sensor, like the Vixia HFS series camcorders, you're not going to lose a great deal of image quality from using a digital teleconverter. However, on a camera like the XA10, which uses a 2.07 megapixel sensor, you lose image quality. So you might be wondering what some potential applications for the digital teleconverter might be. I use it on my HFS100 for filming wildlife. It gets me a little bit closer. It, it lets me zoom in a little bit more without sacrificing image quality. And I don't run into the pitfalls of using a optical teleconverter. I do not use the digital teleconverter on my XA10, and this is because of, you know, as we've mentioned before, the loss of, of image quality. Uh, there certainly might be some applications where, where you might want to use this. If you really need to zoom in and see what you're looking at, then I'd do it in the field. Otherwise, if you want to zoom in on something digitally, I'd do it in post-production because you're better off using the whole, the whole sensor and the full 1080 resolution in the beginning and having to work from that rather than limiting yourself to a lower quality image. Hope that explains it.